Hey, Andy. Oh, hi, Troy. How are you doing? Yeah, I realize that we're in a co-working space, so I'm being extra quiet. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can, clearly enough, yeah. Yeah, so I see that you're working here. Okay, now, well, um, tell me something, like, what have you been working on this week? Well, this week, um, I'm doing work for a mortgage company. Um, I'm also doing work for an electrical company. Uh, and there's a new restaurant opening up uh, just around the corner from here um, that sells Turkish food that she's going to cook. Um, so I've been doing stuff for her as well. So, okay. Yeah, I've been busy. Sounds like a lot of mortgage stuff. <laughs> Well, what exactly do you do? What's your business? Uh, well, it's design and branding for people. Yep. So um, quite often people come to me and they say, I need a logo, uh, yeah. in which case, actually, I don't. So uh, yes, I can do your logo for you. I'll say, what, why are you in business? You know, and I work out people's core values and find out the truth behind their brand and what they're really trying to say. And then I find it very easy to sort of create the, the visual communications based on what they've told me. Uh, and then it can be translated into anything they need. Uh, so from the bridge company, ultimately they're looking for a website, but the website doesn't say at the moment, their website just has all of the services on it, which is a big mistake. Mm. Yeah. What you really need to be doing is who are you? Because that's what people are looking for. Uh, are you real people behind them? If you are, yeah, I'll talk to you. And that's what I'm sort of doing with the website and yeah. redesigning it to communicate that. So yeah, I, that's the kind of stuff I do. I feel like you have a very good eye for detail and you do a lot of designing. So would you consider yourself an artist? Uh, well, that's quite an interesting question. Yeah. When I started off, um, so I was 16, 17, 18, um, and this will show you how old I am, right? So. I would be in my room and I'd get out all my records and I'd put on something like Neil Young uh, and then I'd have the easel there and then I'd start painting. Wow, okay. Yeah. okay. And so that's where it all started. Uh, it Then it was like, well, how do you make money out of this? You can't. Um, but you know, with the other background that I was doing, all the other things I was doing, they said you could fuse this together to be graphic design. And that's where I started. Okay, so you're definitely an artist. Yes. Okay. Ah, love these lights. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? <laughs> Tell me something that inspires you. Oh, uh, I get inspiration from lots of places. Um, I guess being in, I, I go out to my allotment. Mm. Um, is it, that is inspiring uh, because I'm surrounded by nature and I do really love that. Uh, it's also um, a big contrast with the rest of my working week. Yeah. Uh, it's physical work and I really enjoy that. And it's, you have, I like the, the time dimension there is to it, right? which is quite a complicated thing to understand, right? But in business everything is now 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 quick 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 right after the allotment i go up once a week and things change on a weekly basis yeah it takes a long time for things to grow mm -hmm. yeah nature has its own pace which is not the same pace that we think at we think very fast nature grows in its own time and that i really appreciate and love Next question. Do you read any books or listen to any podcasts? Um, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I feel like you would. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm not reading any books. Mm. Um, what was... Um, I've got a couple of books to read, uh, and I like reading books about um, deep questions, you know, like the truth behind things. Um, how less is more sometimes uh, you know the whole book that I read recently was really inspiring about how to subtract things and by subtracting things you'll actually make them more powerful most of the time which is quite an interesting concept so anything I come across that has interesting concepts behind it like uh, um, you know I, I, I really do get into um, yeah so podcasts and I, I 
a lot of YouTube videos uh, okay. you know, of people talking TED talks and those kind of things. Mm. Definitely, uh, I find those inspiring. Um, I love the ideas that come across. It's a very sort of fertile ground for, and books are too, for new ideas. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. But I think probably where I would push more towards is music. Mm. Um, I listen to quite a lot of music and absolutely love it. And it is a driving force to behind me what I do, you know, it, it can take me out of a bad mood, put me in a good mood, uh, put me in an angry mood, put me in a not angry mood, a happy mood, all these things. I love the way it does that, you know, it really makes you, it can really make you feel better. Okay, since you brought up music, tell me a song that makes you happy. A song that makes me happy? Yeah. Um, oh man, it's so cheesy. <laughs> It really is one of my favourite songs. I heard this um, when we were watching um, Russian Doll. Uh, have you seen it? No. No. Okay, so it's this thing is on Netflix. Um, and she gets uh, put in Germany in the 80s. Mm. And when they um, did the ending credits of that, they played uh, an old song that I used to love so much. I still do. Probably one of my favourite songs. It's 99 Red Balloons. Okay, wow. But it was done in German, mm. and when it's sung in German, it still works, it's brilliant. <laughs> okay, so back to nature. Yeah. Do you have any plants at home? What's your favourite plant or flower? Right, so I have a garden. Yeah. Um, probably not my favourite flower, but one of my favourite flowers um, uh, that's coming to at the moment. Um, for two weeks in June, uh, I've got this pergola. Thing at the back of the garden where I've got two uh, rose bushes, climbing rose bushes going up it and they have these delicate little white roses and for two weeks in June it just goes mental, the whole thing is a blaze of white, it looks so beautiful and it's only for two weeks in June, you wait the whole year for those two weeks and when they're there, oh, you know, it's giving you everything. It's wonderful. Wow, sounds very lovely. What do you do to relax outside of work? Uh, to relax outside of work? Yeah. I've got two children, uh, so I spend time with the children. Yep. Yeah, spending time at home with my wife. I go out for walks, um, listen to music, of course, as well. Well, we're in this co-working space. How did you get here? I walked here. <laughs> you walked here? Yeah. When was the last time you took public transportation? Um, I only ever used public transportation to get uh, to central London. Yeah. Um, so I'll get the train. Yeah. The other thing I do, um, I've got the tram that runs near my house as well. So I can get the tram to Beckenham and places like that. It goes to Wimbledon too. But, um, I would say that's my third mode of transport. My first mode of transport, I love walking places. Yeah. Secondly, if it's any further, um, I'm, I'm really up for cycling to it as well. So any business meeting that I've got that's out in Surrey, Sussex, Kent, I'll cycle to it. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's about four right now. Yeah. What did you have for lunch? I keep my... Um, Costs really low, right? And also because I'm vegetarian, um, I'm not, I don't really uh, go out and get lunch. So I bring lunch in. So when I was at home, I make myself a nice uh, roll, cheese and coleslaw, um, with a yogurt bar and uh, not so much crisps. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask because yeah. I can see all these. Nice stuff here. Yeah. Do you use them? No. <laughs> Which is quite fun. Um, there was, there were some guys in that office there. Yeah. Um, but they left in December. They used to come out and we played all the table football. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of guys that come from over there that just throw a few darts uh, at the dartboard. Oh. Dartboard. <laughs> Gotta get that. <laughs> but. I've never thrown any darts at that dartboard, so yeah, I'm I'm quite a bad hand at the table football. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. 
Okay, so my next question. What would you describe yourself if you had to use one word? Like, describe yourself in one word. Interesting. Um, I would say thoughtful. Uh, and the reason that I say that is because I spend more time thinking than I do doing. Um, mm. I am quite a deep thinker. Uh, and sometimes I overthink things. But quite often it's, you know, it's good to balance everything up and do the thinking beforehand, before you respond, I've always found. Um, so I'll probably do more thinking than I do anything else. Wow, okay. So here's a question to think about then. Yeah. What does sustainability mean to you? Well, that is interesting. Uh, what sustainability means to me and what sustainability the word means are two different things. Uh, what it means to me is based on the real meaning of the word, which is um, keeping things in balance, making sure... Sorry, that print's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keeping things in balance and making sure that you don't take out more than you can... You don't take away more than you can put back. Um, so it's like when you go in a park and you see a sign that says, please leave this park in a better condition than you found it. Which all it means is if you see a piece of rubbish, pick it up and put it in the bin. Yeah, that is a sustainable model. That for me is sustainability. Sustainability is where uh, you're keeping a place in a positive place rather than taking away from it, uh, which leads to the bigger thing. You know, why don't I eat fish? Mm. I don't eat fish because we are overfishing our waters. It is unsustainable the way our waters have been fished. And it cannot be done sustainably very easily, not with the population we've got. So for me, the answer is to have a little to go. Mm. And that I can feel more comfortable with. But until they stop fishing, I won't feel that comfortable. Okay. So, two quick questions. Yeah. Right? Name one charity that you donate to. The last charity I donated to was Bexley Snap. Okay. Yeah, it was a bike ride I did. Okay. Now, tell me one of your favourite brands. One of my favourite brands? Yeah. Um, Tom's Shoes. Tom's Shoes? Yeah. As in like the Tom's? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I do like that also. <laughs> yeah, because it's a cool brand. Yeah, uh, I feel good about wearing their shoes. Uh, they're vegetarian and they're very practical and it has a very good um, cause-related purpose. Okay, last two questions. Yeah. Right. What's one thing you like about the Better Business Network? One thing I like about the Better Business yeah. Network is meeting other people that where their values align with mine that we can talk openly about similar things uh genuinely nice people too you know people that have got good reason for being in business um i i would love to help them all you know and i think it that is the strength of it is that you've got some really uh people there with a good purpose behind them okay and i appreciate that yeah, okay, last question. I have to stand up for this. Okay. Let's stand up. <laughs> now, if I was looking for advice yeah. on changing the world, yeah. obviously in a good way, what would that be? What would you tell me? Um, I would say to you, focus on something that will leave it in a better place. Do it on your own terms, right? You cannot... Um, you have to begin with yourself first. You have to do something that is that you feel comfortable with, right? So when I decided to, for example, to become vegetarian, it was um, a serious life change um, and something I'm going to live with for the rest of my life. I can do that. Uh, I feel better for it, and I know it's having a better effect on the planet. You know, I, in fact, it's not just being vegetarian; it's also caring about where your food comes from and start to shop a bit more sensibly, 
look at where the food has come from. Yeah, if you've grown it yourself, the rewards are the highest. If it if it's grown in this country and it's not been imported, that also is good, right? If you're buying asparagus that has come from Peru, don't. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to change the world. You know, don't think just being vegetarian is the answer. It's not. It's a whole lifestyle change that you have to be asking these deeper questions to get the answers. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, Andy, this has been 17 questions. Fist bump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Excellent.